Hello guys, I'm back from another video and today we're talking about a brand new what if called What if Deku was in Ruby, which I'm pretty excited about. I've been looking forward to this what if that I'm making for a while now, so let's get into it. But before we actually start, well, let's just say back in the voting, I actually wanted to make, you know, one of the options for Izuku's powers was the Akatsuki. Which at the time, I thought, no, nah, this is going to be a bad idea. So I decided, for some odd reason, to add in instead Heroic Spirit Summoning. Which, I mean, in one of my ideas, I wanted him to do that. But because I'm already making a what if about Bell having that power, I decided to recon that. So instead, Izuku's going to be having the powers of all three, you know, powerful Dojutsu. Or at least their Evolve versions. I mean, Evolve versions. Kind of. Um, what do I mean by this? Well, I still think the, you know, the Rinnegan really has an evolved form. Kind of. It's, you know, Sasuke's, you know, 6 Tomoe, you know, 6 Tomoe Rinnegan. So, yeah, I'm gonna be making it so that he's gonna be using those ones. Yeah, including the others. Specifically, the Eternal Mongekyo Sharingan. If you're wondering, no, he doesn't kill his brother and takes his eyes. Instead, it's... You know, uh, actually, I'm gonna explain this in the story, and also, you know, the Tenseigon, which, if you don't know, which is, you know, the evolved version, kind of, of the, you know, what is it called? Of the Byakugan. Because if you don't know, in Naruto the Last, apparently, the Byakugan originally came from, you know, Hamura, or at least I think that's his name. The brother of the Sage of Six Paths, aka Hagoromo. So, yeah, this is why I decided to make these, you know, three dojutsu his main, you know, dojutsu powers, or whatever you want to call them. So, yeah, so, let us go on with the video, shall we? I'm pretty excited, my boys! So, we go to, um, let's just say, somewhere pretty, dis you know, pretty much destroyed. We currently see Izuku currently on the ground. Just that. Currently, I have a almost bleeding to death after his she fight between Shigaraki in, you know, the most, you know, let's just say in the future, currently now, Izuku and Shigaraki are still pretty much, you know, in the war arc, basically, and are currently, you know, now, you know, Shigaraki is currently now defeated. As for Izuku, Izuku is currently battered and bruised. Like, really hurt, as, well, he was pretty much hurt and badly, you know, disintegrated, but not to the point that he's basically dead, a few of his friends would, you know, arrive, as they would say, Izuku, you're fine, as all of them would start charging at him, as Ochaka would say this, Izuku, you're okay, as Izuku would say this, yeah, yeah, ow, it hurts, as after saying that, one of them would say this, specifically Bakugo, <laughs> I guess you really are a tough nerd, as Izuku would say this. Thanks, Kachan. Now, you finally defeated him. After saying that, they would look towards Shigaraki. Shigaraki was now defeated, and he would see him dead, finally ending the cycle of one for all and all for one. After that, we pan out to, you know, about a few years later. As in a few years, I mean a, a lot, and I mean a lot of years later. So, currently Izuku's currently living, you know, in the hospital. Currently now sick and old. As his children would be there, as for his, you know, you know, grandchildren. And his wife, aka Ochako Uraraka. As Ochako would say this, Izuku. <laughs> I mean, it's been happy being with you, but are you okay with this? As Izuku would say this, it will be fine. Besides, the new generation can certainly save the world, just like us. Back in our prime, he would say. As after saying this, you know, after saying this, his son would say this, Father, I'm really sorry that I couldn't save you during that fight with... with... As he would say this, oh, don't worry. Besides, <laughs> this world is going to be saved thanks to little. Wait for a second, little Sakura over there. After saying that, 
a, you know, a girl with, you know, pinkish hair and bluish eyes with a pier. And this is Izuku's grand, you know, granddaughter, aka Sakura, as she would say this. I will make sure to live on your legacy, um, grandfather, she would say, with a determined voice, as Izuku would say this. <laughs> you sure are going to be good, kid. <laughs> He would say while he's coughing a little bit, as they would slowly hear the, you know, the sound of his, you know, heart monitor starting to slow down, as Izuku would start closing his eyes, as everybody would start, you know, feeling a little bit saddened, including his granddaughter, as it flatlines. Everybody would start crying, saying, Izuku, I hope you're... I hope he'll be happy in heaven. All of them would say in unison, as all of them would say goodbye to the greatest hero imaginable, Izuku Midoriya, aka Deku, the number one hero, or at least he used to be number one hero. So, we go to Izuku currently, as Izuku would say this. Even Where if she has her am I? Pretty much he would say, and why am I 15 again? He would say, as he would look over and would see a man with, wait for a second, he would see a man with a white tailored suit, with some gold trim, with a golden bow tie. He would also seem to have a clown-like mask on his face, not literally on his face, but more like, you know, like, just imagine, you know, that, what is that character from Demon Slayer, the one that's basically a ghost, with the, you know, um, yeah, with the, I think, dog mask? Actually, it might be a, a um, a fox mask, but either way, just imagine him wearing it like that. He also seems to have a golden, a golden top hat, and with, you know, white trim, as he would have white, almost dark white hair, like, off-white, as he would have antlers, but also demon-like wings, but would also slowly transition into angel-like wings as well. Wait for a second. Wait for a second, guys. He would also have golden eyes and also quite almost godly, sort of, as he would say this. Ah, nice to meet you. The name's Jack, but you can just call me Spribia or just... Jack Superbia, which is my full name, but you can just call me Jack if you want. As he would say this. Um, mind telling me where I am? And why am I 15 again? As Izuku, after saying that, he would say this. Well, haha. <laughs> well, it's your prime age. Sort of. I mean, kind of. Anyway, um, by the way, I'm here because, you know, there's something important right now. I'm gonna be sending you to a different world. After saying that, he would say, Excuse me, what? As... Izuku, after hearing that, Jack would say this. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, let's just say that world is currently in chaos. And oh boy, <laughs> let's just say my predecessors have forgotten to do something with that. So, I'm going to be bringing you to that world so you can save it. As after saying that, he would say this. Excuse me. Uh, actually, I'm not even going to question it. And by the way, what are you exactly? As he would say this. Well, I guess you could say that I'm... A god of the multiverse now? Sort of. I mean, actually, yeah, I sort of am now. As after hearing that, he would say, Excuse me, multiple universe. Uh, uh. He would start rambling on, sort of, or like mumbling, thinking that it's quite crazy or something of that sort, but would rationalize it, like, rationalize it probably as a quirk. As Izuku, after saying that, Izuku. Not really Izuku, I meant, you know. Um, you know, Jack would say this. I'm sorry, but my thing, or my powers, are not really a quirk, but it's more like, you know, something that was given to me, I mean, gifted to me, after I died, he would say, as after hearing that, he would say, excuse me, what? As he would explain how he first gotten his powers. Well, after dying during a war, specifically known as the, you know, what I'm just going to be calling the war, the war between heaven, the war between heavens and the earth, which it's more like a, a battle between hell, heaven, and earth, which heaven and hell are basically aligning with each other to basically stop, you know, earth, aka, 
A, full, a world mostly filled with quirks. After hearing that, you would say, excuse me, what? Why were you fighting humans, exactly? And what do you mean that you're... As you'd say, yes. I'm technically a demon, or half-demon to be more precise, but um, that's not really important right now. But either way, the gist of it is, you're going to be going to that world so you can save it. As after hearing that, he would say this. Okay, I'm just going to roll with it for now. But why did you pick me exactly? As he would say this. Well, because you got, you know, so it became heroic, I decided to reincarnate you. Mm, similar to that other guy by the name of, you know, surprisingly, Izuku as well. As after hearing that, he would say, excuse me, what? As you would say this. Remember, God of the Multiverse? As he would say this. Uh, yeah, actually, it sort of makes sense. As he would say this. Anyway, because you're not going to be able to use one for all in that world, I'm going to be using, you know, something else. After hearing this, he would say, um, then what is it exactly? As he would say this. Um, just let me get something first. As a box would appear, more specifically, a cardboard box for some odd reason, as after seeing that Izuku would say this. What is in that box? As you would say this. Oh, just let me check. As he starts rambling around in the box, as you would start to hear, you know, the sounds of like, you know, of, you know, how do we say this? The sound of like, you know, things like moving away and some things being picked up. As Izuku would hear this. Aha! There we go! After Jack said that, he would look over and would see him, you know, grabbing something. And this something seems to be some sort of card. Or at least, or at least he thinks it's a card, as you would see this. You'll be giving, you know, I'll be giving you something which I call Dojutsu. It's apparently from a world that I used to conquer. Or at least, my daughter conquered. As she, like, he would see this. Excuse me, what? As you would see this. Oh, don't worry, that universe was pretty much doomed anyway. So she decided to conquer it and turn it into her, you know, one of her, you know, conquered rules. Let's just say that. <laughs> let's just say I sort of spoiled my daughter Ron. After saying that, he would say this. Uh, anyway, so what are these dojutsus exactly? As you would say this. Well, these dojutsus are called the three great dojutsus, but I'm going to be evolving them. Sort of. It's more like I plucked them from their specific universes. Let me just get these, he would basically say, currently in a different universe. Currently, we go to, you know, you know, after the fight between Naruto and, Ho um, Toneri, yeah, that's his name. As Toneri is currently, you know, floating through space, currently now, you know, out in other space, completely weakened. As you would see this. How did I get defeated by that? But before he can say anything else, he would see a large portal as two black hands would appear as they rip his eyeballs off. Or at least one of his eyes. As he would scream out, as he would start bleeding from the eyes and say, What the hell happened to me? He would say as he screams out in pain. So, going to a different part again. So, currently in the, you know, fight between, you know, you know, Boruto and also, you know, Sasuke. And technically Naruto as well. Currently, Boruto is currently, you know, pretty much still being controlled by... What's his face? Um, what's his face? Yeah, Momoshiki. As while he was fighting, you know, um, you know, Sasuke, he would jump in getting ready his kunai as... Before he can actually stab, you know, Sasuke's, you know, Six Tomoe Renegon. At light speed, or at least sort of, you know, Zawardo type bullshit, you know, the black looking portal would appear as it would grab, you know, Sasuke's eyes. As after doing that, it would disappear and would restart time as his eye, or used to be eye, or, you know, you know Six Tomoe Renegon, would be stolen as thankfully it doesn't get destroyed, but unfortunately for him, he gets stabbed in the eye. Which, let's just say, doesn't seem that, you know, fun. Currently, we go to another, you know, to another world. Currently, we go to a certain, you know, um, a certain snake pedophile. <laughs> I still can't stop saying that. I can't unsee, you know, um, you know, 
What's his face? Uh, Orochimaru is <laughs> just just snake from the fire. Uh, thanks, Naruto community. So, while he's currently still experimenting on the what are the names? Currently, we see you know Orochimaru basically still experimenting on Shinochiha. Which, even though I think it's filler, or at least I think it's filler, I just don't remember all that much in Boruto. Because remember, I stopped watching Boruto after a while because at the time I was still pretty much busy with, you know, high school. So, yeah. Um, we go to, you know, you know, him basically trying to make his own version of the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan by, you know, using the clones of Shin to basically, you know, you know, mix them together and would basically create the perfect, you know, ultimate, you know, ultimate Mangekyo, or I meant eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. Now able to use any Sharingan abilities, like for example, to Kamui, to, you know, um, Izanagi, to, what is that called, that ability that Chisui had? Okay, I probably might, you know, butcher this. It's called Koto uh, Matsukami. Or at least I think. <laughs> I'm just going off the Naruto wiki. Um, anyway, so, just, uh, yeah, basically any ability that any Ochiha had, it's able to do. Oh boy, and it's definitely about the same level as Madara's. But ten times is stronger because it also has, you know, every other ability. Like, for example, you know, I'm an Arasu, and you probably know the rest, including, you know, Susano. Yeah, I'm gonna be making Izuku as powerful just like in my rest, in the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, anyway, continuing on. As, um, while he was making this, he would finally get, you know, two people, basically, you know, or at least two of the Shin clones, basically able now to use their ultimate Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, as when he, you know, uh, when, you know, Orochimaru finished that, he would decide to, you know, grab the clone and rip off both of its eyes. As, not really rip off both of his eyes, but more like, you know, do the whole, like, you know, curse mark thing and would fully, you know, integrate himself into the boy. Yeah, oh boy. And after doing that, he would leave the other clone to just do whatever he wants. I, he doesn't really care. When he did that, the portal would appear as dark tentacle-like hands would appear as they would rip off the eyes of, you know, the poor little boy as the poor little boy would start crying out in pain and die from blood loss. When it did that, it would decide, you know, those two eyes would start, you know, be mixed together, creating it, you know, ten times as stronger, because why the fuck not? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> so, after doing that, we go back to finally at the large, you know, void, where Izuku and him are basically at. As Izuku would say this, um... Um, why am I still here exactly? As you'd say this, just wait for a few seconds, as the portal would appear, specifically all three of the portals, as they would show off the weird-looking eyeballs. Now, in, you know, um, in vials, or, you know, canisters, as you would say this. Now, these are the three great dojutsu, or at least they're somewhat much more powerful versions. These are, as you would grab one of them, as you would say, this is the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, or I like to call it, just, just edgelord this, he would say, and this is the, you know, the Tatsugan, I meant, I meant the Tensegan, he would say, as he would grab the other eye, as he would show it to Naruto, not Naruto, I meant, you know, Deku, goddammit, or Izuku, and this is finally the, you know, the, the, not really Eternal, but, I guess you can say sort of. I mean, it was wielded by him. As you would, you know, flip it over, as you would show it off to Izuku. As you would say, and this is the eternal, not the eternal, I meant, six Tomoe Renegon. As you would say this. Where did you get those at? Oh god, I'm feeling about to be sick. You would say, as he would say this. Don't worry, besides, it would probably be integrated into your, you know, head. And it would probably be a semblance. As Izuku would say this. What the heck is a semblance? As Izuku would, you, you know, after saying that, Jack would explain this new world. Apparently the world is called Remnant, 
And Remnant is basically a world where these monsters known as Grimm basically come from. And these Grimms are fought off by hunters and huntresses. Which sounded more like, you know, heroes in his mind, but either way, apparently these hunters and huntresses use semblances, which are basically like quirks, but, you know, a little bit weirder. And not only that, you know, some semblances can be, you know, pretty weird, to say the least. Like, similar to quirks, sometimes. But not only that, you know, there's also aura, which basically acts as like a shield and also, you know, powers the whole thing. And apparently there's dust, which are basically elemental based. Even though it's named dust, it doesn't mean that it's literally just dust. As in, you know, just dust. As in, you know, the powdery like material. Instead, it mostly came from, you know, mostly comes in a crystalline form. After being told of this information, Izuku would say this. So, um, then, if that's true, then when I'm supposed to go, as you'd say this. Oh, just, just wait for a second. He would say, as after waiting a few seconds, he would basically disappear these eyes somewhere in a different, you know, plane of existence, you could say. After bringing those dojutsu, I meant these dojutsu eyes somewhere, as you could say this. What did you do? Uh, after saying that, you know, before he can actually say anything else, he would start feeling his vision, you know, start to clear up, to the point that he's able to see everything. As you say, what the heck did you do? He would say, as he would start, you know, looking around the room, as you would see everything clearly, as he would say this. Oh, just to blind the eyes already. As he would say this. Excuse me, what? As he would say this. Well, um, I guess you can say it's kind of like, um, reality warping. Where I'm basically able to, you know, warp objects into somebody's, you know, directions. Or, in this case, able to manipulate reality whenever I want. So, I decided to, you know, do it quickly and efficiently as possible to basically implant these brand new dojitsus in you. As Izuku would say this. Cool, but you said that there was three, so where's the third? But before he can say anything else, he would look at his, you know, one of his hands. Specifically, his... He would look at his left hand as he would see the, you know, the six Tomori Renegon in his eye. I meant not in his eye, I meant in his freaking eye. Not, not eye, I meant in his palm, I meant. God dang it. As after seeing that, he would say, what in the... As when he saw that, you know, Jack would say this. Oh, don't worry, trust me, it won't be that bad. Unless if you're going to do something private or something, then you should probably move to your other hand. As you would say this. What did you do? And why is there an eye in my hand? As you would say this. Come on, I couldn't just give you like a third eye over there. I mean, that would just be disgusting. And trust me, it would probably bring in more attention than you probably don't want. As you would say this. But still, I mean, it's almost pretty weird too to basically have an eye in your fucking hand. As he would say that, he would say this. Uh, don't worry about it. Anyway, your body is going to be changed after you get reincarnated. Able now to use a semblance, or in this case, your semblance is, you know, your doujutsu. And you're able to, you know, manipulate aura and use dust crystals. Not only that, you're definitely going to have a fun time there. As he would say this. What do you mean? As he would say this. Oh, nothing. <laughs> anyway, you should probably get going. As he would snap his fingers. After snapping his fingers, a portal would appear, resembling the portal from the Velvet Room, or at least the Velvet Room um, door that is used by both. Um, what's their names exactly? I've forgotten their names. It's been a long time since I actually seen Persona Five. Yeah, Caroline and Justine use this. I meant. Huh, it's been a long time since I actually didn't. You know, uh, since I you know. Um, maybe what if about, you know, Persona. Maybe I should actually do that again. So that's a redo, redo, never mind, no. Um, actually, no, probably not. Like, not ever. Because I, you know, pretty much resting after, you know, um, and I'm also quite busy with, you know, school and stuff. But you can request, you know, what ifs if you still like, and I still be, you know, doing what ifs as well. Uh, it won't be that, you know, intrusive, or, or at least I think so. Anyway, continuing on with the episode, after Izuku sees his door, Izuku would say this, so I 
just need to go into the door or something, as he would see this. Yeah, and don't worry, it won't hurt. Trust me, as he would say this. Um, sure. After saying that, he would start walking towards the door, as he would go in, disappearing and finally getting reincarnated. So, we go to a few years later. We currently see a young boy with greenish hair and currently wearing a monk's robe, as he's currently meditating in a country known as Vistal, or Mistal, I meant, as currently is in a, you know, monk-like temple, as a few people were there. It's been a long, you know, not really a long time, but more like, you know, I'm still pretty new to, you know, Ruby, so let's just say there's going to be something like, you know, let's just say, you know, Ohm, which, if you don't know, is a godlike figure in their world, so just imagine Ohm as, you know, basically being worshipped there, so I'm, I'm still pretty new to, you know, Ruby, so just imagine it just like that, so... As they're basically worshipping Ohm in a meditative-like state, we see the green-haired boy basically meditating. As after doing that, he would basically, you know, get off of his, you know, you know, his seating position or his meditating-like position as he would start moving out. As the, you know, leader of this, you know, monk's brigade or whatever would say, Ah, Izuku, are you done, you know, um... Are you done, you know, trying to, you know, trying to achieve enlightenment? As Izuku could say this. Oh no, I do wish to receive enlightenment from the gods, but right now I'm quite tired. After saying that, he would say this. Hmm, it seems so. Then you should probably get some rest. As after Izuku heard that, he would say this. Good night then. After saying that, he would start leaving, going back to his, you know, little quarters. After going to his, you know, little, like, sleeping quarters, he would basically, you know, sit down on his bed, as he would say this. Ah, <sighs> so tired, he would say. As he would look in the mirror, as he would say this. Huh, looks pretty good, I guess you can say. He would say, as he would start looking into his eyes. He mostly keeps them closed, because, let's just say his eyes, or at least one of his eyes seems a bit unique but not activated. So, when he opens his eyes, one of his eyes seems a bit normal, but the other one almost seems majestic. It seems to resemble some sort of like, you know, I guess you could say like flower. A cyan, not really cyan, but more like, you know, like blue colored, you know, su I meant flower, I meant. As it seems to be glowing in the, you know, in the dimly lit room. As for one of his hands, he would start, you know, opening, you know, his hand up, no longer into a fist, as it would start opening up the palm, as the skin would almost open like a, you know, like an eyelid, as it would show off some sort of weird eye. This eye seems to be purple in appearance, like all purple, with purple rings around it, and, e and in each ring there were six tumbles. Or Tomos, or, you know, um, I'm just gonna be calling them Tomoe, because it's much better than calling them Tomos, because that seems a bit weird. So, after looking at his, you know, you know, weird looking eyes, he would say this. Now, as he would open them, open them once again, as his used to be normal eye would turn into a weird looking pattern, which resembles a, you know, a wheel, as he would say this. Hmm. So this is my semblance. <laughs> After getting reincarnated in this world, it still is kind of new to me. Even if I started out with not really the best of days. Or in this case, best of origins. He would say, as we go into a little flashback. So, we go to a nearby village in Vistal, as... I meant Mistral, I meant. I keep, you know, confusing Mistral with Vistal because, you know, they have similar, you know, names. Like, seriously, Vistal, Mistral, god dang it. Anyway, so continuing on, we would see Izuku with his friends. One of his friends seems to have blackish hair and, you know, a pink streak. As his other friend seems to be not from here. Not from Mistral, in fact. She seems to have orange hair and... 
with somewhat, you know, um, greenish to bluish eyes, as they're basically going around the, you know, town, as Izuku would see this. Hey, wait for me, guys! After saying that, this guy, specifically the one with the blackish hair, would say this. Don't worry, you won't, you know, you won't, um, how do we say this? Don't worry, you won't be left behind, Izuku. As one of them would say this. Please wait for me! She would say, as Izuku would look back, as you'd say this. Nora, don't worry! As Nora, after saying that, you know, after hearing that, she would say, ah, thanks, Izuku. She would say, as Izuku would say this. Um, Hey Nora, why do I feel like many people decide to avoid you? As she would say this, uh, it's still pretty normal to me. As after hearing that, Izuku would say this. Don't say things like that. I mean, you're basically family to me. After hearing that, she would say, "Aw, you don't really need to say things like that to me at least." And she would say with a happy tone. As Izuku would say this. Anyway, hey, Ren. As the black haired boy, which is now named Ren, would say this. Um, yeah, Izuku? As Izuku would say this. Um, why do I feel like many of the villagers have left? As one of them would say this. Yeah, it seems a bit weird, said, you know, Nora. As they would start going around the, you know, village. As after arriving, you know, after a little base of operation, which is mostly just a, you know, run down, you know, um, a rundown house, they would basically sit down as they would say this. Yeah, it's a bit weird. And we recently saw, you know, those two huntresses basically leaving, right? As Izuku would say this. Yeah. It, this is true. After saying that, they would start to hear the sound of growling and the sound of attacking, and the sounds of screams. As they would look over, or at least Izuku would look over, and would see Grimms. Zuku, after getting to this world, he would start researching about the Grimms, which is a bit weird for the count, like the townsfolk to see a child basically grabbing some books, even though, um, the, like Izuku was starting to still learn how to actually, you know, read the language here. But thanks to the information that Jack, aka Moi, yeah, that's actually me, the god that basically, you know, brought Izuku here, uh, you know, the information about, you know, you know, the information and how to read their language. So, after learning that apparently that, you know, which, you know, um, let's just say it was a, you know, pretty much not really hard ever since he started learning how to, you know, speak the language of, you know, of, you know, Remnant. And after learning about these Grimms and their many types, we go back to the present, as you would see a few, you know, Ursas basically there killing a few people, as Beowulf would finally arrive, as after seeing them, Izuku would say this, Hey, um, wait, um, Ren, let's go, as one of them would say this, specifically Nora, um, Izuku, what's happening, as Izuku would say this, Nora, don't panic, but there's Grimms, after saying that, one of them would say this, specifically, you know, you know, Specifically, Ren. Wait, Grimms? She would say, I meant he would say, as he would say this. Yeah, we should start moving now. After saying that, they would start getting out of there and would start running away. As they hear the sound of, you know, people screaming out in fear, and they would also hear the sound of, you know, scared civilians. As while they were running, Izuku would be lost and couldn't find, you know, Ren and also Nora, as Izuku would say this. Guys, where are you? He would say, as he's a bit afraid. Where are you guys? He would say, as he would say this. Nora! Ren! He would say, as he would start becoming a little bit afraid, wondering if they're gone, or even worse. While he was thinking this, he would see a Grim. A Grim, more specifically a Beowulf looking at him. As the Grim... You know, Beowulf would basically start looking at him with a hungry look, as it would start charging towards him, as Izuku could say this. Don't. Don't. As he would start stepping back, as he would say this. Don't hurt me! He would say, as he would hold up his hand. More specifically, his left hand. As when he did that, it would open up, showing off his six Renegon. After doing that, 
he would, you know, start, you know, getting ready for these, you know, for his end. But it didn't came. What the heck, sorry about that. But it didn't came. As he would look over, as he would see the Grim basically floating there. As Isuku would say this. Did I do that? This is my semblance? He would say, as he would remember, you know, his whole dojutsu thing, as he would say this. Oh, right, my dojutsu. He would say, as he would start, you know, trying to activate its abilities, as he would think, maybe it's some sort of, like, telekinesis, you know, type thing with this Renegon thing, or at least I think so. As he would start to remember, you know, some of the information that he gotten from Jack. Apparently, the gravity thing, or the telekinesis thing, is known as the... Which is known as the Deva Path, as you say this. So, this is how it works. He would say, as he would say this. Alright, let's try this out. Oh, mighty push! After saying that, the Beowulf would be pushed away like Team Rocket saying goodbye. After looking at it, it would just be off. Like, like Twinkles, just like, you know, in the anime in, you know, Pokemon. As after seeing that, he would say, This is quite strong, he would say. As he would look over and would see a lot. And I mean a lot of fire basically happening right now. As he would see this. Oh, right. He would say, As he would start trying to fix all the fire. As he would start creating, you know, little chakra rods. As he would say, What the? Huh. I didn't know that I am able to do that. But either way, I need to save this town. As he would start, you know, using these chakra rods to basically stop the fire by mixing them with water, which he learned thanks to the help of Jack. Yeah, I'm basically just like, you know, the cheat code at this point. The currently. Hmm, I love making children so overpowered to the point that they could probably make a harem. <laughs> yep, and I'm probably gonna make this a harem on death. You can't stop me. I mean, sort of. <laughs> anyway, continuing on. After doing that, he would see the fire is completely gone. As after doing that, he would slowly become exhausted. As he would fall to the ground. As he would say, I'm tired. As when he was about to, you know, fall into unconsciousness, he would see a few people walking up to him. They seemed to be just be normal people. As he would wake up, basically in a cold sweat, as he would say, Nora, Ri Ray, Rin, where are you? As when he said that, a person would walk up to him. He would also realize that he's on a bed and in a different place. More specifically, a temple? As he would look, around, like, look over at the man, as he would say this, Ah, welcome to the Temple of Ohm. The name's... The name's Kira. As after saying that, he would say this. Oh, um, my name's Izuku. Where am I? As you say this, like I said, welcome to the Temple of Ohm. And I'm sorry, but unfortunately your town has been destroyed. Nobody was left alive. He would say, as you can see this. No. Wait, no. He would say, as after hearing that, he would start to cry. As after hearing that his entire town is destroyed and many people were dead, he would start to think that maybe even Rinan and even his best friend, Nora, might be dead while he was crying. He would fail to notice that his eyes, or at least one of his eyes, would change, gaining a weird like shape resembling a wheel. And no, it's not going to be in its, you know, in its, you know, Dritamoe and below form. Instead, it's going straight for Mangekio, boys! And it can also change into its uh, eternal Mangekio form. You know, if it wants to. So, yeah. So, after, you know, his eyes basically, you know, did that, his other eye would start to change as well. As the priest would, you know, or the man would also see it as well. Seeing that his, both of his eyes would fully change, one of them would seem red and, you know, red and black, with a weird looking pattern on it. 
and the other seems to be blue with sparking the electricity. Sort of. Almost like holy light. As he would say this. Is that your semblance? Ah. Well, that is quite interesting. But, either way, I'm really sorry, but unfortunately your village is destroyed, so... If you want to, I can definitely let you stay here. As, after hearing that, he would say, Wait, really? Then, as he would say this, Yes, after all, the Temple of Ohm does respect people that, that do have a tragic life, especially you, right now. And so, because of this, I want you to stay here. And I'll even train you on how to use your semblance. But maybe... As after hearing that, he would say, Wait, really? As after hearing that, he would say this. Yes, really. And if you want to, I can definitely teach you to calm yourself. And maybe even help you with this trauma of yours. After all, you might be sad, but don't worry. This temple can help you. He would say. As after hearing that, he would say, Sure. Guess I'll... Joy, and let myself in then. After saying that, he would say this. Good. Now, you should probably get some rest. And probably get ready. Because we're going to be starting our training next week, he would say. As he would say this. Um, right. Thank you, Kira. Then we go back to the present. As he would say this. He's currently now 16. Um, basically, he's now 16 years old. Wait for a second. As Izuku would basically, you know, would, after, you know, think about his, you know, his first time here, or at least how he first got here, he would say this. <laughs> Good times. <sighs> I should probably get some sleep now, he would say. As after saying that, he would go into his bed as he would fall to sleep. So yeah, I'm going to be ending this episode right off here. So yeah, so, I hope you like this video, and I hope you're ready for, you know, the next episode of this, because I can't wait, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!